Hi, I'm Cassandra. I'm one of the root leaders and today I'm making stuffed squash and I'll be using squash because it is an in-season vegetable for May. All foods need different conditions to grow which means that they all grow at different times of the year. Here in New England we have a short growing season from about April to October so we need to take advantage while we can. In the early spring you'll see mostly root vegetables from last growing season that have been in cold storage throughout the winter like the squash that we'll be cooking today and fast growing cold tolerant crops like lettuce and radishes. Moving further into the summer there will be more fruit and large vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, and strawberries since the days get longer and warmer and the crops have had time to grow. Finally in the late summer and fall you will see crops that take the longest to grow like corn, watermelon, and squashes. First step is prepping the squash. You're going to take the squash, cut it in half the long way like you see in the video. After you cut the squash in half, you're going to want to take a spoon and scrape out the seeds and what looks like little stringy stuff, you're going to want to scrape all that out with a spoon. After you take out your seeds, you're going to want to carve a groove in the neck of the squash so that you have more space to put your filling. As you can see here with my spoon, I'm just carving out the groove about half an inch to an inch deep, it doesn't have to be that much. After that, you're going to want to set your oven to 375 degrees. You're going to want to peel your sweet potato and cut it into half inch cubes. Then you're going to get two separate pans, put your squash in one pan and your sweet potatoes in the other. You're going to want to coat the squash and the sweet potatoes in some oil. It can be olive oil or cooking oil, whatever you like best. After you coat them with the oil, you're going to want to um, season them with a little bit of salt and put them in the oven. The sweet potatoes go in for 15 minutes and the squash for 40 minutes. Okay, while the squash is in the oven, you want to chop the onion, put it in a pan over medium-low heat, uh, let it sit for about 5 minutes. After that, add in your package of sausage and cook until the sausage is brown. If you have sausage in the casing, I recommend that you take uh, that you peel the casing off and cut the sausage into small chunks. That would be the best way. After your sausage and onions are browned, you're going to want to take your sweet potato and put it in the pan, mix it up, and take it off the heat. And after your squash comes out of the oven, give it about five or ten minutes to cool down so you don't burn yourself. And spoon the mixture into the cavity of the squash. After you finish filling the squash, this is when you can put some cheese on it um, if you'd like. If not, then you don't have to do anything. Then you put the squash back into the oven for another 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Take it out, let it cool, and you're done. Enjoy! Yeah, this recipe is pretty easy to make, especially with vegetables that you can find locally.